In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each of the elements here in IO4 minus, the periodate ion. So we'll use these rules and they'll help us figure out the oxidation numbers. Looking down the rules, we can see that oxygen, it's almost always a minus two, except in a few instances. So we have four of them. Each of them is gonna be a minus two. Iodine is in group 17, so it should have a minus one, but we do have some exceptions. And one exception is when it's binded to oxygen. So in this case, we really can't use this rule. We have to use other information to figure out the oxidation number on the iodine. We do know that when we have an ion, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. That's at minus one. So let's think of it this way. We don't know what the iodine is, so we'll say we don't know what that is, but we do know that we have four oxygen atoms. Each one has an oxidation of minus two, so four times minus two. That gives us a minus eight. And all of this has to add up to the charge on the ion, which is the minus one. So seven plus minus eight, that gives us a minus one. That means the oxidation number on the iodine is plus seven. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the ones we knew right here. And then we knew we had all of these oxidation numbers. They have to add up to the charge, this minus one. And then we just use that information to find the iodine. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for IO4 minus the periodate ion. Thanks for watching.